everybody. This is T with Cage Crafty Closet, and today we're going to make a little snowman um, ornament for my Christmas tree. I'm going to make mo several of them after after the fact, but this is just to go along with my country Christmas themed that I want to go ahead and use this year. So let's go ahead and get started and make this project. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and need is like you're going to need. Um, these are mason jar lids. This is the regular size and this is the wide mouth size. So basically, essentially, that's going to be a little snowman, his head and his body. And you're going to need some natural jute. So I'm going to put these to the side. And I wanted to find an easy way to wrap those. So what I wound up doing is I wrapped this around my hand, fingers right here, about 30 times. And I went ahead and cut it down. Because um, you know this is not going to fit inside of the mason jar and then things get tangled if you have it loose sitting there And you get frustrated ask me how I know that So what I went ahead and did is after I wrapped it around 30 times I actually wrapped it on a pencil and the pencil after you wrap it goes easily in and out and in and out your um, Mason jar lid so I go ahead and I got the already wrapped for us because it would take quite some time. This is something great to do in front of the television or while you're watching so you can have your hands busy and stuff like that because I'm like idle hands. I can't handle that sometimes. Um, so I was thinking, how can I put these together? Well, yeah, you can go ahead and hot glue it. But I'm like, well, what if I want to reuse them or for something else? And so like, what I decided is like a cable tie is the perfect X reason to do that so let's go ahead and put our cable tie on and then we can just hide it into the back and you can decorate this as much as you want i'm going simple um with this like a base because you know country christmas just simple easy and all that so here we are putting this and make sure you put it on the right side let's flip it over i have a tendency to do that more than i care to admit so you can hot glue it if you want, if you want to be this be a permanent ornament in your holiday Christmas decoration. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that tight. And it's like, got a little bit of room, so I'm going to pull it into the back because that's where I want that piece to be. And we're just going to trim that excess off with a pair of scissors. And boom, and here I have some plaid ribbon you can use any kind of ribbon you want uh, i you can even use fabric i i was going to use this but I, it wasn't wide enough for me so i decided to go ahead and use this ribbon so i'm going to put the ribbon on there and see how much i think i may need to finish this so i'm thinking maybe a little bit more Okay, so I'm going to go with that. So race, basically, let's see how many inches that is. That's about 13. So let's just go for safe measures. I'm just going to cut a 14 inch piece of this ribbon. Uh, and then we can trim it down if we have to. It's always best to have more than less, right? And I'm just going to pull it through there. Um, you can um, leave it like this, you know like straight and just kind of glue it. If this is what you want to do, I'm going to go ahead and tie it, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and tie it because it's the same thing on both sides. So that's the perfect part. And that was another reason why I didn't want to use the fabric because it was a little bit muted on the opposite side of it. So, and here I'm just going to do the best that I can. I'm not worried about if I mess it up because, you know, it's, it's all good. Because, so here we have all right, and then this is where you want to go ahead and shape and form the scarf. So, and then I like that the fact that it's different one length and then that's a different length. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this off just a little bit because it's a little bit longer than I want it to be. And then I'll just wind up putting a green um, ornament hanger on this. But this is my little snowman ornament. and you Or you can use a piece of twine, jute twine up there if you want. Let's go ahead and do that um, while we're here. I'm going to grab, just do a 14 inch piece and I'm going to slip knot it on the top. 
okay, like this, kind of like what you would do with a tag, and pull it like this, and then I can just do another one, a little tie a little knot at the top, and voila. And you can string beads on there if you want. If you want to put a hat on him, you most certainly can, and I'm kind of thinking, I may want to trim this one more down okay so how easy is that fun easy project cute little ornament i can't wait to make some more and put these on my tree so i want to thank you all for joining me today if you like this video please make sure you give it a big thumbs up uh, make sure you hit that uh subscribe button if you haven't done so already and also make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notified each and every time i open I open, I upload a video to YouTube. So you all, thank you. Have a happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And I will see you in the next video and have a craft tea day, y'all.